What is up guys, Stars to Hero here with the Advanced Red Dragon Archfiend deck profile. So in today's video I will talk about the deck profile, do some hand testing, and then finally show you two replays against mana decks. So, where do I even start with this build? So, there's a few new additions from the new set. Gale's Creator and Gale Space, especially Gale Space is insanely strong in this deck. It gives us access to these two boys. And there's some other decks I've been testing as well, like Tunus High, which is also really really strong in this deck. I recently made a video called Diamonds on the Wolf Tunus High on this card, saying it has potential in one deck, and I found that deck, it's really strong in Resonators. So, basic introduction to Resonators, for those that don't really know the deck. Um, it's the deck used by Jack Atlas, the idea is to summon big Red Dragon Archfiend monsters, despite only running one actual Red Dragon Archfiend, oof. And um, in order to pull that off, you need two cards on the field basically to start off your combo. Crimson Resonator, it has to be Crimson, Re Crimson Resonator. Other options don't work. It's also one of the big issues. Um, basically, Red Resonator says if um, if the only other monster controls exactly one Dark Dragon Synchro monster, so it cannot be anything else. This is why Red Resonator is no longer a good card in the deck, because if you have Red Resonator and Crimson Resonator in, in your hand, you cannot use Red Resonator. So that's not really that solid. So you need um, Crimson Resonator and a level 4, because then you can go into Red Rising Dragon, which basically revives your Crimson Resonator and then you can go two ways. Either summon additional level 4s to go to additional copies of Red Rising, or just Synchro Climb, usually into something like um, Bane and Abyss. Now, in order to achieve this, there are multiple ways to do it. Also, one important thing to note is that Red Rising Dragon 2 has multiple things to it. It revives the Resonator monster in your graveyard that you used to summon it basically, well... You can just start one Resonator monster, it's not specifically its material. But this is not once per turn. There's no once per turn in this effect, so you can just summon three copies with ease. Um, keep in mind that you cannot pass a summon monster for an extra turn you, turn you activate this effect except Dark Dragon Synchros. It's a bit annoying, but it's fine. During your main phase, except the turn this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target two level 1 Resonator monster your graveyard special summon both. Also, non once per turn. And most of the time you're using Synchron Resonators, which are a really nice level 1 Resonator that has a really nice effect. If this card is sent from the field to the grave, you can target all Resonator monster in your graveyard, except Synchron Resonator, add it to your hand. Also, not once per turn. So yeah, you can already see where the strong players are coming in. So, in order to um, help with that, we run some really good level 4 monsters. We run a uh, Collapse Serpent and Wyvern Buster, basically you can banish a uh, Light to summon this, or a Dark to summon this. And then they special summon themselves. And if they get sent to the graveyard, they search each other basically. That's the basic idea of these. Gale Space means that you can just discard any Light or any Dark to search one of those. And then they instantly fulfill their summoning condition. Which is really really solid. Gale Space also has a second effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard to target one of your banished Light or Dark ones to get up in an awesome set. Place the monster on the bottom of the deck, then draw one card. This does work with extra deck monsters. So if Red Rising Dragon banishes itself to activate the last effect, you can just shuffle it back and draw a card. It makes this card insanely strong. Not only does it search one of your best cards, it can also just give you a free draw. You can also recycle one of these if you desire to do so. And one really really nice thing in this deck is that it can also search the Chaos Creator. One of the new biggest additions to this deck. So in order to summon this monster, you must banish a Light and a Dark from your graveyard. Which can be a bit tricky at times to set up, but it's not that bad. If you control this card with special summon from the hand, you can target three banished monsters with different names. Special summon one of them, then place the rest in the bottom of the deck in any order. So, one thing you might not know about most of the strong Red Dragon Archfiends is that they have no um, special summoning re uh, restrictions. So let's say uh, your opponent obliterated you, um, went hard on you, Bane or Abyss is in your grave, let's say Bane. You can use Gale's Crate to banish Bane and Alight. Um, and then special summon that same Bane back onto the field, which is absurd. This is also a level 8. Gale's Runner, which we'll talk about later, is able to easily revive itself. So on top of accessing Synchro Wards, the second turn you can also go into Ningirsu, which just sends one card report to the graveyard, without targeting or anything. Also very strong and relevant. Keep in mind that the only restrictions that force us to Synchro Summon are Red Rising Dragon and Remembering King Weltwind. These only apply during your first turn. You do not have to use any of those effects in your second turn. So, Red Dragon Archfiends truly have a two-turn plan. So, the goal of this deck is to summon a uh, Crimson Resonator on a level 4. So, we maximize the draw power to get out Crimson Resonator as fast as possible. Three Resonator call, which can simply just search it. I just realized something, I am stupid. 
I was not running this card for some reason and it's still very consistent during testing, wow. Okay, that's a game changer, then you just kick out this. This, this. Well, it's solid. Wow, I actually didn't, I almost didn't realize it. Well, I just tested the deck, it performed really well and I wasn't even running Crimson Reson Command Resonator. Wow. So basically this can discard one Resonator at a level 4 lower feed monster from your deck to your hand. So this searches your Crimson Resonator, but also searches other cards like Ren Ranking and Wildwind. Um, usually the deck is not that consistent, but this build speed testing really well so far. I was even running one of the search spells by accident. Wow. <laughs> We also run two desires to just maximize the chance of drawing into this. We also run Triple Allure of Darkness. But we also run one spicy new attack card. Tionus High. What does Tionus High do? You might not know it yet. Well, watch the Divers on the Rough video about it. But basically, you can discard one monster. And then special summon from your, special summon from your deck. One Tionus monster with the same original type and attribute, but one level higher than the discarded monster. This means you can discard Synchron Resonator to summon Crimson Resonator from the deck. During test testing, this has come up multiple times in hands that would otherwise be a brick. This card truly fixes your hands. And in extended combos, you can just discard Crimson Resonator to summon Dark Resonator from your deck. Another cool, neat interaction. So, there's a lot of cards that just make this deck work together. It's um, I wouldn't change anything in this deck, honestly. Um, well, I did just change something, but I like, mean these are basically extras, so you don't necessarily need them. But yeah, anyway, if you control, basically this effect says if you control a resonator, can you special summon it? Um, but you cannot special summon an extra deck for the rest of the turn except synchros. Yeah, basically synchro conditions, red rising, kinda. Um, during your main phase, except the turn, this card is sent to the grave. You can banish it from your graveyard, add one fiend type 2, though it's fifth the last attack. So basically, you can banish it from your graveyard, add a resonator, which is very, very strong. One cool neat interaction is that Gale's Ruler on summon activates 5 cards, adds a light or dark from, your, from those to your hand. Then sends the rest to the grave. This doesn't ever have to be summoned, so if you just activate this, totally works. Activate this, you can now banish, you can now use the last effect to interact with Red Rising Dragon. Which makes Gale's Reload, by the way, really strong. Not only can you activate a monster and add it to your hand, but you can also just get Gale Space off and draw an additional card. Um, yeah. So, which Black Forest is not a really neat card to this deck, um, it searches, it's really nice. Well, it's better than Pro Hunter actually. So we're kicking the Pro Hunter out. In this case. I mean, we already have this for the light. Wait, you're building the deck in the middle of your deck profile? That doesn't sound right. Well, in my defense, in my defense, I'm really late on this profile. I should have released it earlier. And I changed some ratios in the middle of testing. Oops. Like the command resonator. I'm guilty like that to deal with it. <laughs> Um, so it's Danko Sekka, something we can search with the Witch of the Black Forest. Um, it's a light, which can also be activated via Gales Ruler. And it can totally shut certain decks down. And it's a light, which you can banish for Gales Creator or Gales Ruler. Um, yeah, so let's talk about level 4s. So we run uh, the very good ones, at least. Yes, this is enough, since we also have Combat Resonator and a lot of draw power, it's fine. Um, also, Gale Space really helps. With the opening with uh, level 4. Um, ideal opening hand, probably for this deck, is get a way to summon one of these. Um, any level 4, ideally of course with Black Forest and Crimson Resonator. It will catch you 3 red rising dragons, and then you can just go off. So that's the ratio for the main deck. For the extra deck, um, you sometimes need 2 calamities, red number dragon is unrated. Dragon Sight is helps push you for games in certain situations. Double Bane over Double Abyss, I think multiple Banes is better as you can just revive your one Abyss with ease. The Fana High Paladin is a unrated tech choice in Red Dragon Archfiend. In your second turn you're not restricted to dragons. You can just use any tuner and a non-tuner synchro monsters and most effect does better. The only effect that matters here is when this card destroys an opponent's monster battle, you can half your opponent's life points. Yeah, that's really strong. Basically if you have this out and Calamity and I only have one face down monster, it doesn't really matter which phase down it is, as you can just guaranteed, guaranteedly OTK, basically. That's really nice. Yeah, Abyss is just Abyss. Gale's Ruler is insane, like I talked about it before. Scarlight, because it's a Red Dragon Archfiend deck, it's nice to sometimes, it sometimes does come up. But you could argue to just kick it for a second Abyss. We rarely go into Scarlight by itself. Ancient Pixie Dragon is just level 7 Dark Dragon Synchros, that you sometimes need for certain combos. Triple Red Rising, it's the best, and then Gears, yes, we can go into Rank 8. 
So Gaelic Mass of a deck profile aside, let's test some hands. So this is the first hand. Um, this is a mess, we don't have the Crimson Resonator or where to go into it, so we need to apply the desires. Did I tell you that Tudor's High can come up clutch, or didn't I tell you? <laughs> so we discard this, get the Crimson Resonator out. Um, can we banish this? Let's see how many Crimson Resonator... Uh, um, should be fine, should be fine. So we can just resolve this. No normal summon needed, by the way, yet. We can just use a normal summon for Chain Resonator. Go to Red Rising. I did not check if we actually have the other... We do? Oh, nice. Lucky me. So we get the Collapse Serpent. Use this effect, get two level ones. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, we, also, we got really lucky with the desires, not gonna lie. But this is how key Tunos High is. This actually saves the deck. This helps the deck so much. It's insane, honestly. So yeah, we're just gonna go into multiple level sixes. So Wise Man one set Yeet. This will give us a search in next turn twos. Pretend I did it accidentally click on set. Yikes. <laughs> Sometimes I make missed clicks. That's why I don't like. That's what I don't like about it at times, but then again, it's my own mistake, not the game's fault. Oh wow, Gale Space, meaning we can just resolve it and get an additional draw. Neat. Yeah, we can just use Gale Space to get ourselves... Oh. So we did banish all Gale's creators, or did I just make a brain fart? Yeah, I just made a brain fart. I need to discard something li like Chain Resonator, oh my god. We also used the normal summon here. Oh my god, this is so messy. Well, you get the idea. This was a good hand. I just misplayed it. Oops. Ne always make sure to click the proper card. I mean, right now we just have a decent start. You can discard the dark for the crimson. You don't have to use the allure. You can use it, but... Maybe let's just resolve our crimson first and then we use it. More chance to draw into extenders or something. We will have a lot of chance to, ex to grab extenders, not gonna lie. First, let's do this. Do we grab a chain? Yeah, we need a chain for the Gale's interactions. And now we use a lure. We don't ne really need the Synchro Resonator. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, we're just gonna keep the command resonator, might as well. Go into the Gale Schooler, let's hope we excavate an extender. Realistically, we get a creator, but... Okay! <laughs> we actually got the creator, okay, nice. Yeet the rest into the grave. That included a uh, space, right? Was I blind? I was blind, there's no Gale space here. Whatever, we just do this. Did I normal summon? No, I don't think I did, right? I'm so good to do here, I even forget which cards I used and which I didn't. In case we didn't use this yet, this is gonna be really strong. We didn't. Okay, cool, we can get this off now. Um, do we have any use for this? Uh, let's be cute. Yeah, let's be cute. We can just go into Skullite for this and then tribute this. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter which board you create turn one, you just at least want to have this. Now it's the opponent's turn, they get a chance to break your board or something, doesn't really matter. Eat. That's our turn again. Guess creator special is gonna come in clutch here. Um, let's see. So many effects activate. We don't need another normal summon, so Chain Resonator is gonna work just fine. Get another search, that's what greedy. Creation's gonna be nice. Anything else we need to use right now? Nope, not really right. Just go chain resonator, chain resonator goes bru. Now let's see, do we need anything specific here? 
Can be cute, go for Rattler. Yeah, let's be cute. Can just go for Rattler over Dragon. Use Rattler get back to... Um, oh wait, we don't have one. We don't have two Shinkon to the whatever. Um, doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean we need to basically now. Now we can. If you summon this, there to let to do anything really. Yeah. I mean we just add back resources. It doesn't really matter. King calamity. Can now discard for command. Get the last copy of Synchron or Wandering King. Depends on what you need, what you want. Doesn't really matter. Um. Since we have Gale Scruller, we can do some cool stuff here. Banish the Bane, which I mentioned before. Uh, make sure to grab the Bane, shuffle Red Rising back in your extra deck, because why not? And shuffle back. Yeah, let's just pick that one. But we can just revive the Bane, which is insane. Just absurd, that's crazy. So now we use Bane. Enables us to go into Dingirsu. Yeah, sure, fine. Doesn't really matter at this point. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. This is not okay. So if there's anything annoying, you can now remove it, although you already used Calamity, so unlikely to have anything. At this point, you're kind of free, like. Just use Gale Screwer to overkill them. Alright. Yeah. I mean, this surely kills anything, right? Um, no chance that I survive a port like this. Haha. <laughs> it's got quite strong with the new support. Okay, let's see, this hand is workable. Well, it's actually just a solid hand. Now we open this, which isn't exactly great. There are ways to deal with it. Um, so we mostly want Crimson. And now we use Wandering King. To go into the Red Rising as usual. Get back of Tuna. Um, what do we want right now? Um, yeah, this works. Just use this. Hmm. Yeah, it should not gonna hurt that. Not really gonna hurt. Uh, unusual combos incoming. Simply because I want this to be live. I mean, getting the Red Risings into the grave turn 1 is just so vital that you sometimes just make subtle small combos to make sure you can. I mean, you want this Red Rising in your grave, it's, it just. Gives you a guarantee that your grind games really well. Unless I just run Kaiko the Ghost Destroyer, in which case you're just boned. Um, yeah, I just get Chaos Ruler with this. I mean, it never sucks to go into that. Let's hope we get something good. Chaos Space in the grave is nice. How much do we want in our hand? Think, let me think. Yeah, probably the Dark Resonator as worst case scenario, it can probably be of some use. Like, Gale's Ruler with Dark and a level 1 is still Calamity. So they have to shotgun and negate next turn. Um, which Black Force is not useful in the grave, so I can just banish that. Go into another copy of Red Rising Dragon. So Wise Man once said, another one. I'm going to Crimson here, right? Do we go into Crimson? No, we need Synchron Resonator. To make this abyss. Yeah, I could have made that abyss as well with this, but yeah. I guess this at least gives us some hand advantage. Quote to quote hand advantage, not really, but you know. I mean this board works, it's not anything special, but it works. Just pass on this, you know. And I just do nothing in this case because, well, you hippo. Hmm. Bock of desires. Nice. 
Yeah, so first off, get these kind of effects. We can use Chaos Space to draw an additional card. But use Wild Wind first. Chain Resonator, we don't need to summon a level 4 this turn, so might as well. Um, resonator Call. Get Resonators out of the deck first to maximize our chance of drawing a non-Resonator. Chaos Space. We can just get rid of a Crimson Resonator right now. We have start because we can one turn kill them anyway. Turn us high. Hmm. First things first, make sure that I can't do anything. So in order to do that we need to shotgun this. Okay, boom, this ensures I don't do anything. Let's be cute. Do we want a dark or a crimson resonator right now? Let's get a dark because this at least has useful play effect. Then again level 2 makes this as yeah. We want Scarlight, just a flex, honestly. No real good reason. I just want Red Nova Dragon. Show off. Sometimes you just want to show off, you know? Just how things work. Let's just blind desires. We don't need a dark resonator in our hand anyway. Kill space, yeah, no way we actually still have a target right. Um, use this. Just get synchron resonators, doesn't really matter. Mm, multiple choices, but they're all just basically saying, hey, you're dead. No. Although this is probably the best one. And of all the possible ways to kill him, this is probably the most efficient. We can just get a piss. Now, honestly, we already used King Calamity, so we don't need additional negates. So, theoretically, Nirvana High would be the best. Um, yeah, Synchron Resonator. Why not? Do I have anything to summon? There's not a summons right? Hmm. Why not? Mm. Wait, should I have taken the card out of my hand? Yeah, and then we just quote quote kick for game because, well, 6000, 3300, which, which helps the life points if you destroy anything. This, we have this, we have this. Like I, I said before, if you want to summon big synchro dragons, this is the deck for you. Anyways, enough testing hands and flexing with the hands. This is so much overkill damage. Let's take it to the replays. For first up against Adamantipator, their hand is the best though, I believe, I'm not sure. Which is a Black Forest, which is a really great normal summon. Showing off the nice interaction with Wild Wind, which we can just still special summon. Because it's not an effect that activates like an inherent special summon. Um, at this point you still have multiple Denko, but it doesn't matter. But in this matchup we don't need Denko. Um, just standard plays, you know by now, I showed you in the hand testing. Uh, let's see, he tries to use Onomatopia, which we block. Yeah, it seems he just didn't open a great hand. Tries to go for the block tank to at least make it a bit tough for us, but not an issue for us at all. Kill space, kill creator, summon back the, the, yeah. The Gears just sends the block tank to the grave, doesn't matter what he searches, we can just OTK now. Yeah, King Calamity to ensure he does nothing spicy, like the beer. Um, yeah, now I just totally overkill him. Not a King and Calamity, because why not? Club Serpent into the Pixie Dragon. Gale Space for additional draw, and now we just overkill him. Uh, yeah, nice meta deck, mate. <laughs> Up against Elt Lich, which is... It's a... Uh, Troublesome matchup if we don't get our Tanko Saka. It's rising, basically default plays, you know them by now. Use the effect first. It's red rising to bring back the Crimson. Ruler. Yeah, nothing special there. Allure, why not? 
Wie dit dan wel gaat eruit. Ze kunnen ons met de chain resonate voor ja, nice. <laughs> Oké, okay, set up these three. Um, but he can basically go nuts. Want to negate the meltdown just in case. I didn't know what I was playing against. I saw the meltdown and was like, yeah, I gotta make sure he can't. Ooh, very strong monster. 3500 is high enough to kick over most of our monsters. He has the Mechaba, which is gonna be annoying next turn. Um, not sure if he should have used that spell. Maybe we had a great spell, you know. But whatever. These start turn one board from him. Allure, okay, nice. And we draw into the Denka. Nice counter trap, mate. Not gonna do anything. <laughs> That's why I love Denka. In this deck. Scarlet's gonna be nice, blow up some cards in the field, make them one turn kill, very easy. King Calamity to make sure he doesn't do anything crazy. And now we can basically just use the Denko as a material if you need to, but we don't really need to. King Calamity plus what we have on the field is enough for game. So, this is my advanced deck profile on Red Dragon Archfiend. I hope you guys like the format, I hope you guys like the actual deck, and I'll see you guys next time. Stars to you, signing out.